Before the techniques of DNA fingerprinting, paternity cases used to take up an uh, extremely large percentage of the load that court cases had to hear. Now paternity cases are fairly easy to solve. If one were to take restriction enzymes and make a series of cuts in a child's DNA and then do the same for the mother and any men who may be the father, then one can compare the patterns. Now, not all of an individual's DNA goes to their children, as we know that our sex cells have only half the amount of DNA that our normal body cells do. And so not every a fragment from the mother or the potential father will correspond to one in the child. However, if one compares uh, in the first animation in yellow or the second one in green, there are bands of DNA in the child which did not come from the mother. The mother does not possess corresponding fragments of DNA, so the child could not have received these from the mother and had to receive these from the father and therefore one can compare these bands to those of the prospective fathers. Do either of these two males possess a pattern of DNA fragments which corresponds to those fragments in the child which did not come from its mother? And so therefore it is rather easy to prove paternity uh, or even maternity if uh, this was in doubt. In a case for example where parents are questioning whether uh, the appropriate child came home with them from the hospital uh, after, uh, after delivery. And so therefore it is fairly easy to prove paternity and maternity in uh, cases where DNA fingerprinting can be used.